Good morning, Palmer Ridge. I'm Mikey Beisterfeld. And I'm Paul Kubitschek. Before we get to our show, here are a couple of announcements. We will be offering an ASVAB test on Tuesday, November 6th at 8 a.m. at our school. The Armed Services Aptitude Battery is a multiple choice test which helps you figure out which military occupational specialties are best for you. This test will be in the sunset room. The D38 College Fair Night, which features in and out of state college representatives, will be held Wednesday, October 24th. Make sure not to miss out on this glimpse into the future. If you're a senior and you're looking at going to college, you know the cost of a college education is very expensive. So any time you can save some money is a pretty good deal. Here's a message from Colorado Governor John Hickenlooper that has the potential to save college-bound seniors a sizable chunk of change. Hi, I'm Governor John Hickenlooper, and I want to talk to all you high school seniors out there. We know you're thinking about your next steps, whether you join the military, become an apprentice, or go on to a Colorado college or university. Whatever path you pursue, applying takes a lot of work. I'm excited to announce Colorado Free Application Day. On Tuesday, October 30th, every Colorado public college and university and several private schools will let you apply for free. This is a great opportunity to apply to schools across the state and we want you to make the most of it. So keep working on those applications and get them ready by October 30th. Then visit CICCollegeAppMonth.org to learn how you can apply for free to more than 30 schools across the state. No matter what your talents, no matter what your interests, there's a place for you in Colorado. Apply yourself on Colorado Free Application Day. That's right, on a Tuesday, October 30th, seniors can apply to Colorado colleges for free. Be sure you have all of your application materials ready and then go to the college application website and follow the directions. At the end of today's show, we will have the CIC College App Month banner up so you can get another look at the web address. And remember, you can visit your PRHS counselor for more information. And now on with our show. Mikey recently went out and took a look at a few interesting local businesses around the D20 area. Today I am here at the local businesses Cafe Velo, The Dog Wash, Ivy's Chinese Cafe, and Beauty Nails. Over here they have many local businesses and I'm going to check them out. Local businesses in Colorado are one of the big parts of our society. From coffee to bikes, all of us should support our local businesses. Some sadly are dying and going out of business very soon. The reason why is because people are starting to go to big barons and feeding into the big guy instead of helping the little guy. This is Cafe Velo. What do you think of the local businesses here? They're great. The food's great. The businesses are great. The nail salon is a very pretty place for people to go and get their nails done. They have whatever you want for your nail style. The animal hospital has helped my fur babies more than twice. Shuri Ganesh is an Indian restaurant where they serve very well food. Ridgeline, this is Mikey Beisterfeld. Thanks, Mikey. I hope you could all help to keep those businesses going. Now, cut to Jacob, who checked out Floyd's Barbershop and what it's all about. Looking to get a haircut? Well, Floyd's Barbershop is the place to go. Located right next to the Five Guys, Floyd's Barbershop opened in 2001 in downtown Denver, designed to be a different and unique experience. The walls are adorned with rock posters and cool graphics, and each hairstylist is unique and able to help you with whatever you may need. Uh, because it's a relaxed environment, you know, as soon as you hit the door, you hear the, you know, the loud music, you see the posters on the wall, you see TVs, and it's just one of those things that we're just not your average shop, you know, there's not a time limit as far as like how fast we're going to cut your hair. We're all about the clients, about how we're going to give 110% to you guys. Um, Floyd's is a special barbershop, and it makes the customer feel more like a lifelong friend. For Ridgeline, this is Jacob Van Amberg. Great job shaving that one off your list. Thank you, Jacob. Grace recently stopped by Devon's Dog Park in Larkspur to see what the bark was all about. Colorado is ranked the number one dog-loving state in America, and understandably so, with dog parks like Devon's Dog Park in Larkspur. 
The Colorado Springs and Denver area offers many off-leash dog parks for your dogs to run freely and enjoy the company of fellow dogs. By the Greenland Open Space near Larkspur, Colorado is a park called Devon's Dog Park. Named after the Girl Scout who raised $4,000 to recruit volunteers and acquire the material to build the fencing of the open space, as well as the landscaping. Devon's Dog Park is a 16 and a half acre space, of fetching space, and plenty of room for your dogs to run and play. As Colorado has one of the highest populations of dogs in the country, large fenced open spaces like these are important to keep your pets healthy. For Ridgeline, this is Grace Guerin. Thanks for retrieving such a massive piece of a story for us, Grace. Paul stopped by Icon Cinemas to take a horrifying look at their flashback cinema series. With Halloween just around the corner, everybody's entitled to one good scare. And in case if you wanted to relive those old moments of horror, then look no further than Icon Cinema. Get your classic snacks, and then quench your movie thirst, and then prepare yourself for terrifying cult classics, waiting to be relived today. What I think the reason we do it is to just continue to help um, just keep people connected with the past as far as cinema is concerned. Here's just another great idea for the upcoming spooky season, helping you get into that classic Halloween spirit inside and outside of the theater. After all, movies wouldn't be like they are today without incredible jaw-dropping classics. For Ridgeline, this is Paul Kupchak. Oh yes, there will be screams. Thanks for the terrific glimpse into the cinema, Paul. With the weather getting colder and the season changing, let's check out the weather update for this week with our weather woman, Mary. Good morning, bears. I'm your weather woman, Mary. We started to get some snow last week, but this week we aren't supposed to get any. If we look at the radar, we can see some precipitation over Kansas and Missouri, but none over us. Let's go to the five day. This whole week is going to be sunny, but it's still going to be very cold. It will slowly get warmer throughout the week, but our nights are going to stay very chilly. Well, Bears, that's all I have for you. Remember, to make it back to the sunshine of summer, you must first weather through this week. Thanks, Mary. And for the record, October 19th is the average date for the first snowfall. We hope you all enjoyed this early first take at the snowy weather. And that's our show for this week. I'm Paul Kubitschek. And I'm Mikey Beisterfeld. Thanks for tuning into this week's broadcast. Have a good week, Bears.